Once again, on my ventures through Ulta's website, I find a new product that I had no idea was launched. Today we're going to talk about a new brow. It's called Build a Brow. It's from Maybelline. I think the packaging is very cute. Something about it reminds me a little bit of like Benefit. It could be because it's got like the chromey pen. But this is cool. It's a two-in-one. It's got a brow pen on one side and it has a sealing gel on the other side. Now, if you know me, you know I am all about brows. I want my brows to look nice. I want them to look defined. We're gonna try this guy out. I just need to figure out how to open it first. Okay, it's pretty easy. Now, it had a couple of shades. I wasn't sure which one to go with, so I was looking at the models. If you go to Ulta's website, you will see they have different models and everything. I got mine off of Amazon. It's just faster shipping, and I didn't want to spend 35 something just to get this shipped for free. So, this is the pen. Oh, I like, I like the way that pen looks. That's the pen side. And then this is the sealing gel. And the brush looks tiny. I think I like it. Look how cute. Adorbs. So it's supposed to be long wear. You're supposed to put the pen part on your brows first, wait 15 seconds for it to set, and then we seal it with this. So I don't have any makeup on. I've been getting into the habit of doing my brows first because sometimes, depending on what product I'm using, it can kind of like slip around with my foundation, my moisturizer. So I'm gonna do this first. It's supposed to be long wear. I recently tweezed my brows just a teeny bit, but this is our starting point. I don't have the fullest brows, but I don't have like no eyebrows either, but they're still pretty sparse. Let's swatch it. I got Ash Brown. They were different versions of brown, which I like because not all brown hair is the same. I like those strokes. This is, an, this is a true ash brown, it's cool. Good shake. Let me just see if you have to pump it. Oh, you can pump it. Let me start off with this eyebrow first. Just kind of want to get a feel of it. I actually, hang on, a mirror that I can see up close. I have one here, but I'm gonna be like this, and then you guys can't see me. I'm gonna start at the tail end and see how the color is. Oh, okay. We got decent strokes here. I always like to go down when it comes to here and up here. My eyebrows grow in different directions. That's just the way it is. If you move the brush around, you'll get a thinner stroke. Let's do the front. Hold it from the back as well. It seems like you get lighter pressure, but that's, I mean, that's typical with any makeup product. If you hold the applicator from the back, it's less pressure. This does, because I know somebody's probably thinking it, it does remind me a little bit of the NYX one, but I think I like this brow color a lot. And it's, it kind of also reminds me of the Milani Weekend Brow, which I actually love more than the NYX. I just find it easier to use. This is actually, it's really nice. So if I pull back, this brow definitely looks more defined, more full. Messed up a teeny bit there. Just gonna give it once over. I really like this color for my like hair color. Let me do the other eyebrow. Do you guys ever have a brow that's just so much better than the other? For me, it switches. Right now, my left brow is a bit problematic, especially around here. So I gotta fill my little bold spot nice. But I find brow pens like this are super helpful for mimicking hairs. Because you really can't do this with like a like a brow pencil, it's it's hard because the point is too blunt sometimes, or it's too thick. Hopefully you guys can see, I'm sorry if I'm like out of focus. So like I went a little, a little heavy. I love that I could 
really get in here and make it look like my brow is so much more full than it actually is. Brows are one of those things that like, yes, you can go fast, right? Especially if you have full brows and like you're blessed with beautiful brows, you can definitely go faster with it, right? But if, you, if you're not and you have brows like me, it's, it is worth taking your time, trust me. All right, so that's the one side. Let's give these a few seconds to just, I don't know why I'm doing this because it does not feel wet. It feels like it, it goes on and that's it. But because it says to give 15 seconds to dry. So in the meantime, how is everybody doing? Has anybody's family also been hit with, I don't know, post-nasal drip that turns into some kind of sinusitis infection because it has ran rampant in my house. And everybody's pretty much had it. I'm doing well, I actually didn't get it, but I had a procedure done, I had a cavity and I had it filled and then I got an infection and this was hurting. So I was pretty miserable for like two weeks or yeah, about 10 days. I'm finally feeling better. That's why I'm back to filming. My face was like puffy, so I took some time off, um, but I'm back. All right, that's about 15 seconds. Now let's use this guy. I'm so curious, like, what is this gonna be like? Um, it says it's not flaky, which is great. Let's just let's just comb it through and see what happens. Are we gonna get feathery brows with this? I don't know. Okay, I can feel it combing through. The little spoolie is not like super stiff. It's actually pretty flexible. But. I, I like that it's kind of flexible because it moves the brows hair nice. Oh, I can feel it setting. Okay, I can feel it setting. It doesn't feel chunky or any, it's almost, it's almost like, have you ever used like a pomade in your hair? It's not, it's not stiff, but I could feel that it, it is setting in place. That's cool. Let's do this other brow. I like the spoolie, it's great for, like especially these these parts of the brows that we wanna kinda of manipulate and make them look a little bit fuller. That's really nice. My hair, I have like a clip in my hair that's half in my hair and literally half out of my hair. That looks really nice. Okay, I think that it's user friendly. You really can't mess it up. Get the right color and it's gonna disappear into your hair nicely. The brush isn't so fine that you're getting like these little tiny strokes. It's actually easy to use and it does set nicely. The gel is really nice. It's set. It's not crunchy, but it, I can feel that it's in place. It did not flake either. Very, very nice product if you want clean, easy brows. I would say it is pretty user friendly. So try it out, let me know if you like it. I can't wait to hear from you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.